Welcome to this Cook and Pal training video, where we are going to be showcasing the functionality of Molto, showing you what it can do and how to troubleshoot some problems if any ever happen. We are going to show you things like how to remove and attach the blade, how to attach the lid, how to connect Molto, and of course, how to get cooking. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight exactly what Molto can do. Molto is an all-in-one kitchen appliance that can replace 15 different appliances in your kitchen, from a grater, grinder, and processor, just to name a few. Molto consists of a hub and a main unit. This is the hub, which is the brain of Molto. Once you connect the hub to your Molto, you can control the main unit with the hub and get cooking. Inside the hub, we have multiple functions, such as guided cooking and manual cooking mode. Guided cooking is where we create the recipes for you and pre-program all of the steps so you can pick up any recipe that we create, letting Molto do all the guesswork and the cooking for you. Manual cooking mode is where you can create your own recipes and use Molto as your tool to create fantastic recipes and dishes. The hub itself is water resistant and you can wash it with a damp towel. It has a lovely large display screen and a soft touch jog dial to help you flick through recipes at ease. You can also make use of the camera embedded into the hub to enable you to take photos for future reference. It all comes with a lovely stand that allows you to put your hub somewhere safe when you are not using it. The main unit is the engine behind your Molto. On the main unit, we have the motor at the back and this is our mixing bowl. Under the bowl, we have the heating element and the clutch. Then at the back, you will find the switch. On the front, we have our control button, which you might notice is now orange. As things cook, or as we connect the lid, that will change color. The green color means it's functional. We are ready to go. The next step is we're gonna show you the mixing bowl and the blade. The bowl is a three quarts in size, and it consists of a lid with a measuring cup, and also a blade inside of the mixing bowl. The bowl is finished with some nice soft touch handles, that allows you to handle the bowl after you finish cooking. Remember not to touch the bowl if you've been cooking something super hot because it will conduct the heat. There is a lip to help you pour out liquids and food to stop it falling over your kitchen table or getting messy. Finally, we have the part of the locking system on the bowl for your safety. With the blade itself, we have two different sides of the blade. We have a chopping side and a stirring side. Depending on how you pre-program your Molto, you will either chop or stir, depending on the rotation of the blade. To remove the blade, it is very, very simple. The latch at the back is here to release the blade from the bowl. Hold the blade at the top, and then you pull it out. To insert the blade again, you put the blade through the hole, making sure you lock the latch on the underside of the bowl again. Here is the seal. If you are washing it, the seal can be removed and you can put this in the dishwasher. Remember to insert the seal back onto the blade, otherwise liquid will pour from the bottom of the mixing bowl. Let us talk about the lid and the measuring cup. It attaches onto your bowl, which connects to the main unit. It is worth noting that we have a double locking system that locks at the back into the main unit, and then a lock at the front that attaches the lid to the bowl. You cannot cook or use Molto unless the lid is in place securely. You will know that you connected it properly because it will make a sound. Now, within the lid itself, what we do have is we have a seal on the inside again. This can be removed very easily, okay, and also put on as well. Just remember to make a note that all of this is dishwasher friendly. The only two things that are not dishwasher friendly is our main unit, and also a hub. On the lid, there is a slight indent that stops the water over boiling and makes it easier to add things through the hole. With the measuring cup, there are measuring guides that can hold up to 3.5 ounces. You must make sure that you lock it securely before you start blending or processing at high speeds. There is a locking mechanism to stop it coming off during blending. You can turn the measuring cup upside down for a slow pour, which will create a small gap. When you are chopping, I would always recommend that you insert the measuring cup anything over speed three, 
okay, to avoid the food coming out. It's imperative and it's so important if you are cooking hot foods and you want to process it that you must have that measuring cup in. So now you know about the main unit and the bowl and also the hub. We're going to deep dive now into the accessories and show you each one of them. This is our simmering basket. So with our simmering basket, it's designed to drop inside of your bowl and allows you to cook rice, pasta or potatoes. It can also act as a barrier between the blade and the food if required. If you are sous vide cooking, the simmering basket is a must. You put the food inside the simmering basket, then drop the simmering basket inside the mixing bowl. Okay, here what we have is our steaming set. Now within the steaming set, we have a lid, a shallow steaming tray, and then also the deep steaming tray. Using the steaming sets allows you to multi-level cook, meaning that you can cook the whole meal for the family in all one go. You would insert the deep steaming tray, attach the shallow steaming tray, and then lastly the lid goes on. For an additional level of cooking, you could also use the simmering basket at the same time. This is our butterfly whisk that is designed to fit inside the bowl and connect onto the blade. There are fonds on the outside of the whisk that are angled and designed to whip anything up like cream or dips perfectly. A key accessory is our spatula, which is a silicon spatula that is designed with a hook that allows you to pick up the simmering basket from the bowl. The edge is soft that allows for cleaning and scraping the bowl out very well. There is a guard that is designed to stop the spatula from touching the blade. It works well to stir your pasta whilst cooking, leaving the spatula inside the bowl, helping to mix the pasta for you. Now what we're gonna do, the first thing you do when you receive Malto, connect it to power, switch on the main unit, and make sure you switch on the hub with sufficient battery. There will also be a USB type C cable within your packaging so you can charge the hub directly through the main unit. Once we are set, we need to connect the device to the hub. Now we've got connected and then we're, we're ready to cook. The first thing we would recommend that you do is you choose a recipe on one of our guided cooking. In guided cooking, this is where we pre-program and preset all the settings inside the recipe. So all you need to do is pick up any recipe that you like through searching our catalog and cook stress-free. There is a toolbar at the top that allows you to search recipes. Within the recipe page, you will see an ingredient list, step shots, and nutritional information. It will also give you an idea of how long the recipe will take. All you need is to get the ingredients ready and follow the steps. On guided cooking, we pre-program all the information for you. But if you want to make any amendments to the recipe, you can type in any notes or simply use the camera on the back of the hub to take a photo of your results. If you really love the recipe you cooked, click that favorite button and then you can find it quickly next time you want to make it. In manual cooking mode, we have seven functions. There is manual mode, steaming mode, saute mode, kneading mode, keep warm mode, clean mode and scale mode. In the manual mode, there are four different variables to take into consideration, which are temperature, time, speed, and the blade rotation, either stir or chop. Some safety points to note is that if you have any temper attached, the maximum speed you can go if stirring or chopping is speed three. If you are in stirring mode, the maximum speed that you can have is only speed three. We also have turbo mode, that is activated from your hub and controlled on the main unit. Turbo mode is where foods are processed at an extremely high speed very quickly. 
Some other things to note that the temperature on Molto can go between 0 and 265 Fahrenheit. The time limit in manual mode is up to 100 minutes and the speed of the blade can go from speed 1 to speed 10 during chopping. Steaming mode is a pre-programmed function with a set temperature. You must have a minimum water level that is 17 fluid ounces or half a quart. This will give you around 20 minutes of steaming time. After you put the water into the mixing bowl, press start and the water will heat up to temperature. Once at 2 or 5 Fahrenheit, it will automatically start the countdown timer. Steaming mode is a fantastic thing to use. It allows you to multi-level cook with the steaming set. On saute mode, we have the blade spinning around intermittently. It will spin for five seconds, then it will stop, allowing time for the food to saute. After 30 seconds, it will spin again. The temperature is adjustable and there is a maximum time of 14 minutes on saute mode. With kneading mode, Molto can knead your dough in just under two minutes. The blade spins around intermittently and alternates the rotation to stop the dough spinning out of control. Keep warm mode allows you to keep your food hot whilst you are waiting to serve the meal. The temperature and time can be adjusted depending on the foods you are keeping warm. Cleaning mode has two kinds of functions. We have a quick wash that takes 30 seconds after you put the water into the mixing bowl and it will spin around very quickly, disturbing the bowl, cleaning all of the light debris from the bowl before you rinse it out. With deep clean mode, you add some detergent in the mixing bowl with water and it will gradually heat up. It is great to help you get the tougher things off the bottom of the bowl then simply add it to the dishwasher for further cleaning. Using scale mode, it allows you to scale your food inside the mixing bowl with built-in tear function that allows you to weigh multiple ingredients at once. You could also change the measurements from imperial to metric depending on your own preference. You can add your food directly to the mixing bowl or weigh it anywhere on top of the unit. Using the app, you can also remote control your cooking process whilst you're not at Molto. When you go to our settings bar, there are two options. One, you can book a cooking class, and the second one is you can request your own recipe. Thank you for watching this training video. I really hope it's helpful for you. If you need any further information, check out the welcome booklet and the user manual. There is a lot of detailed information regarding cooking times and chopping tips for whatever kind of foods you have. If you need any further inspiration, feel free to check out our website. It gives you a multitude of information about Cooking Pal and Molto. Take a look at our YouTube channel where you can view many tutorial videos and lots more recipe videos. Lastly, if you have any questions or problems, please do contact us and let us know. Thank you very much.